Hey, what's going on people? Check it out. We're back at it again, this time with a little something different. Uh, we're gonna be talking about what the heck these are. What are those? So funny story, I was at a gig maybe last week or a couple weeks ago, and I pulled out these. I was at Soundcheck and I pulled these out and I set them up and everybody was asking me, what the heck are these before I did anything? What the heck are these? So I'll show you. You've probably seen these before. And I opened it up and I did this. Boom, voila, it's a bass stand or a guitar stand or even acoustic guitar stand. So I wanted to find this because I wanted something small to travel with me. If you've seen any of those other stands, the music stands that really don't fold down, they're like <clears throat> long bars um, that you really can't fold down or fit into anything compact like a book bag or you know even a bass case or anything like that. So this is what I wanted. I found this and it collapses down to this size. I don't know how long is it? Uh, maybe what is that? 11, 10 inches, 11 inches or something like that. About that long and about three, four inches wide that way. So it slips right into a base case. I'll show you. So it slips right inside of a base pocket or a base case, not even knowing that it's there. It fits beautifully. So when you want it, you need it, take it out, boom, unfold it, and there you go, base stand. So that's the huge plus about this stand here, the way it compacts and just forms and folds uh, into anything almost, if you have a backpack or anything like that. So the only downside to it was my base almost got knocked over. Um, I was at a gig, you know, set up on stage and everybody was kind of walking around. You know how sound, guy, sound guys, you know, they're walking around, setting up mics, drum mics, uh, DI boxes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it almost got knocked down. I don't know if it was because it wasn't level on the floor or the stage or something. So that might have been an anomaly. So that might have been a one off. So I don't want that to discourage you from checking this out. Check it out for yourself. Uh, it's by Hammer. Uh, I think hammers. I don't know. I'll put the link to it on the on the screen or in the description as well. Check these out. Also, I want it to be able to find something that I can keep in another space or in my home or in my studio or just taking it on with me. I, I play at a church, so maybe something that I can leave and keep at church. So I wanted to see what else was out there. So this next one came into mind. I don't even know the name of this one. This is like a re. This is. I. H E B I K O U. I don't know. I'll put the link to this in the description as well as on the screen. So this one is really compact as well. It's about the same length as the other one, but it's a little bit more bulkier because of the poles that it has here. So what you do is you fold this out, you stretch this out. And what I like about this, you have some more give in the back. This retracts both sides retract. Also, the top end, say if you want it a little bit taller for a base, that retracts, boom, that retracts. So now you have a decent size. Oh, and then also you have these little tabs here so the base doesn't fall inward. See these little tabs? Yep, so the base doesn't fall. So you, you can adjust those when you fold it as well. So this happened to be a little bit more sturdier for some reason. And if you notice on the back, you have this big circle with this rubber um, just to protect the back of your base that it leans on, but it's a bigger, wider surface for your base to lean versus, <clears throat> let me open this one up, versus this for your base to lean on. There's some rubber, there's some protective rubber coating or uh, rubber piece here, but it's just, it's, it's slimmer. So, you know, the probability of your base rocking back and forth of your guitar is a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say it's substantial, but it still works. It still does the job. You just have to make sure you don't knock it over. So that's the only thing with that. I still love this because of the way it slides in anything. Um, but this one almost does as well. Once it kind of contracts and compacts and you put that down, boom, boom. It's like transformers here. <laughs> put that in, then boom. This can easily fit inside of a backpack, uh, inside of a uh, case, uh, base case and just kind of slip it down in there. It's really, really small, really compact. And I, I love these two. I'll put the links of these two uh, in the back. Um, well, not in the back, <laughs> in the description below or on the screen. So check those out. I just thought that would be pretty helpful. A lot of people ask me about it. It's not the first time that that happened, but I figured I'd do a video on the stands that I've you know come across or that has helped me to be able to be more, you know, you've ever been, you know, in a, at a gig and you don't have a bass stand or somebody doesn't have a guitar stand and you're like, oh God, I gotta put my bass in a case on, on the side of the stage or against the, the uh, the amplifier just leaning against the amplifier but that's not a good look and so you want to put it off the side of the stage so you got to go get your bass when it's time to play uh, who wants to do that so i wanted to be able to get something and, and i've been playing for um 
so many years, dec uh, well, what is it? How old am I? <laughs> I've been playing maybe 15 years, touring on and off, uh, overseas, everything. So it was just hard for me to find a, a decent stand that I can travel with. Uh, but these do the trick. I, I recommend either of these. Uh, this seems a little bit more sturdy, um, as you can see. Uh, and you can also go with something uh, at home and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I have just sitting at home. You have those racks uh, that you see that you can just have uh, a couple of basses, guitars sitting on and that's what I have sitting here in my studio. Um, but that's for home. You don't want to really want to travel with that really unless you're playing 10,000 <laughs> guitars and, or basses uh, uh, for a show. But those are the stands, ladies and gentlemen. You can grab that. I'll put a link to that um, in the description as well, just in case you want that. There's several different companies that, that make those. Uh, also, just like a freestanding, I have like a three stand, uh, what is it called? For three guitars. <laughs> it's for three guitars, it's just a stand. It, it works pretty well as well. I'll put the link to that as well in the description. So those are a couple of stands just to help protect your bass or to give you the convenience of having your bass just there at all times, right in front on display. It's very nice, very compact to use, especially for a bass. Guitar, you can find tons of, of, of um, stands that, you know, that will support it very well, but guitar, but basses are pretty heavy, uh, especially the, the five string that you saw uh, just a little while ago. Those are pretty heavy, so you want something that's sturdy enough to hold it up. Anyway, I don't wanna ramble any further. Uh, you guys, hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys. Check them out if you want. I'll put the links in the description. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, what are you doing? What are you doing? Please check this red subscribe button and the notification bell every time we upload a lesson and a video to this channel. Also, check out Bass Nation Academy. Uh, we also have a Facebook group, or it's actually a private Facebook group, so I won't tell you about that until you get into the Academy. Anyway, we've got tons of behind the scenes footage, uh, live shows, um, uh, tips, tricks, all of that kind of stuff, just randomly throughout the day, I'll I'll send up a message to the group or, or a video to the group. Anyway, check it out for yourself. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, what else? We didn't play anything, but make sure you know so coming out clean, clear, and precise every time you play. That's just my tagline if it's, if it's your first time here. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.